Hello everyone, by the end of this video, you will not only learn how to count total number of cells from the positively stained area of your section, but you will also learn how to selectively count the cells present in a positively stained area of your section using ImageJ software. Okay, so I have already opened the ImageJ software, so the image from which you want to count the number of cells, positively stained number of cells, you just have to drag and drop that image here in the ImageJ software. After dragging and dropping, so what do you have to do? You just have to go to image because in this image, these red particles are the positively stained particles. Okay, the red, red area is the positively stained area and we want to count the number of cells present in this red area. So to do so, we have to, you have to go to image and from the image, what you have to do, you have to go to type and you have to convert it into 8-bit image. Okay, so image type and 8-bit image. And after this, you have to go to image again and go to adjust, image, adjust, and then go to threshold. Okay, go to threshold. So now you will adjust your image in a way that, a uh, threshold in a way that you will only see the positively stained area. Okay, so let's, no, this is not, let's, you have to play around, okay, a little bit, this is too much. Yeah, maybe something like this, okay, for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to keep it like this. So if you look here, let's say that if you look, look, look at this image here, so uh, basically what do you see? It's more or less similar to what we had before, okay? So the image before, and this one looks more or less similar. So you, when you adjust the threshold, you have to make sure you don't do it too much and too less. It has to be more or less similar to what you have in your original image, okay? So this area, actually this black area is corresponding to the red area. And then what do you have to do? The process and then binary, and then you have to make binary, okay? Process, make binary. So now it has asked a few questions, just press okay. Right now you see, so whatever the black part which was positive has now been, convert, now been converted into the white, uh, these bright particles, okay? So then after this, then again go to process and then again go to binary and then make it convert to mask, okay? Convert to mask. So basically all the background will be masked by using this feature. And afterwards, what do you have to do? You have to go to process, go to process again, go to binary again, and then go to watershed. Why watershed? Because we want to separate the particles which are together. So that will be separated when we do watershed, okay? So yeah, so we did watershed. And then after this, what do you have to do? You have to go to analyze, okay? In your image software, go to analyze. And in the analyze, you have to look for analyze particles, okay? Analyze and analyze particles. So when you, when you do this, then basically I have selected these options like display results, clear results. I'm just gonna display results and summarize. And you can also place, you know, exclude on, on edges and whatever, I mean, you can, play around with these different options. But for the purpose of demonstration, I'm just gonna select only these three things, display results, summarize, and exclude on edges. So basically whatever is on the edges, that will be excluded. Okay, then I'm gonna hit okay. So now you can see that in this image, the total number of particles that has been counted is 200 to 2656. This is total area. This is the percentage of area. Average areas, average size, sorry, and this is a percentage of area that is positive, and this is mean particle size. So this is the mean. So this is to count the cells, total number of cells from your positively stained sections. But what if you want to count only uh, the, the cells that are present in this area, but not in this area? So then how are you going to do that? To do so, in the image software, you have to select this option, okay? This very, this, this, this object here, okay? Select this, 
and after selecting this then you have to make a circle around okay just hold on right click and then make a circle around let's say i want to measure the particles that are present in only in this area okay and then what i'm gonna do and then i'm just gonna go to analyze and i'm gonna go to analyze particles so again here in circularity actually i forgot to mention before you can also specify okay a uh, whatever the, the the parameters you want to give here so 0 0.1 to 1 or it's totally up to your experiment and and also cell so i'm just gonna keep it as such and press ok so now you can see that the total number of particle count total number of cells that are positive is 504 and this is the total area and percentage area has increased because now it has count everything in this and only taken account and only considered this area as the total area that's why the percentage has increased okay so it's pretty simple guys i hope this video was helpful thank you very much for your kind attention